Oh my god, I'm so tired. I do kind of feel slightly leaner. I can kind of see the morning body. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video. I have not had a good week. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm just gonna be honest with you because obviously we are on our mini cut. We're doing six weeks of reduced calories following my bulk. And I've just not had the best week. Like in England, it's been a bank holiday weekend. So we've had Monday off as well as obviously the weekend. And then I kind of went home back to Ken and it was just so hard to like track absolutely everything. And do you know what? Like I kind of found myself tracking until lunch and then just kind of forgetting and guesstimating in my head, which is just not ideal. I do know what I'm eating. Like obviously I've tracked my food for a very long time and I am really good at it. And I do have a really good idea of portion sizes, but I feel like I've let myself down. I've let you guys down. So yeah, we're back on track today. Today's kind of what I needed to just have a little bit of a reset and a rethink and be like, no, like you're doing this. You're having a really good week. So we're actually going on to week five of my mini cut. I actually can't believe it. Like what? So yeah, this is going to be my second to last week because two weeks today I am flying out to Marbella for my birthday, which I'm so excited for. So I have such a good goal to aim towards and I need to keep that in the back of my mind. We need to stay motivated. <laughs> okay. So I've already weighed in this morning. I slept horrifically last night. I can't even tell you. I've been awake since half three in the morning. So I wasn't really expecting a new low weigh in and that's actually very common when your sleep isn't that great. So weight this morning was at 68.1. I actually text Lizzie who works with me and I went, oh my God, my weight is 88.1. And she was like, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, it's 68.1, so it's the same as last week, I think. But I'm pretty sure if I had have had like a full night's sleep, it would have dropped. But anyways, we're not gonna dwell on it because just compared my photos, I'm gonna put the photo here so you can see. I'm 100% looking so much leaner. Like you can really see it in my stomach. That's leaner. I feel like my chin, that's a lot leaner. My legs are definitely looking a little bit leaner. And I do feel like I've managed to kind of maintain my glutes, which is kind of what I wanted. So I'm happy. Like even though I haven't had the best week, I have still guesstimated in a way. Like I haven't had a day where I've eaten a crazy amount of food or, you know, not something that I would have eaten normally. It's just, I haven't been like tracking fully. So yeah, I'm just gonna be honest and real. And that's what happens like even from a coach. <laughs> So yeah, in regards to calories and stuff moving forward, we're actually keeping calories the same. So last week I know I did like a meal prep video. If you haven't watched it, make sure you do because it was such a good meal prep video. I feel like I really enjoyed filming that. And my meals last week were so good, but calories are now at 2,265. We've got 140 grams of protein, 65 grams of fat and 280 grams of carb. Now I'm tracking that on Elevate, my recipe and workout app. 
and I just find it like the easiest thing to track. It's just really easy to use and it gives me like loads of meal ideas as well. So that's what I'm tracking my food on. Apart from that, cardio is still the same. So I'm doing four times 20 minute sessions after my workout. So I'm just doing like an incline walk at speed. Kind of, I'd probably say like four and a half and then incline is at three, but obviously treadmills vary. So, you know, just do what's challenging for you. Today, I thought that I could just bring you along with me. We're gonna do like a day in the life of me basically on a diet and cutting so yeah breakfast we need to get going with because i'm starving it is 10 past 10 i haven't eaten breakfast yet but i do try to make sure that i have breakfast a bit later because then i'm fuller throughout the day whereas if i have breakfast at 7 a.m your girl is hungry by 11 a.m and that is not ideal so let's get on and let's make breakfast so one of the things I've really been craving this week, and I've got no idea why, but it is a blueberry muffin. So I thought this morning, let's just make blueberry muffin baked oats. They're so easy, they're high in protein, and hopefully it's gonna satisfy this craving that I've been having. Okay, so to make my blueberry muffin baked oats, we're gonna need a little bit of sugar, just cause I like to put that on top. I feel like it's gonna make it all crispy. We've got the women's best Fit Pro Whey in vanilla. This one honestly tastes like actual vanilla. You know when you get like, like the custard, the fresh custard from Tesco and Sainsbury's. And it's got like vanilla kind of vanilla beans in it. Is that it? But yeah, it just tastes like that. It's unbelievable. Then we've got some baking powder. That's just to make it rise. A banana. If you don't like banana, you can actually use apple sauce in your baked oats. But yeah, we're going to use a banana. Blueberries, of course. And then we've just got some oats. So once the oats look like this, we're gonna pop them in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes at 180 degrees C. There are my blueberry muffin baked oats for 374 calories and 34 grams of protein. How good do they look? And the sugar on top has gone crispy like a blueberry muffin. So whilst filming this, I'm also filming my Instagram. Um, but yeah, let's see what these look like inside. Yum. I love my baked oats when they're still runny inside. Otherwise, they're just the worst when they're dry. Okay, so the all important taste test. This honestly looks so good. Just like a booby muffin. Okay, breakfast is done and it's now 11 o'clock. So I'm actually gonna do some editing work on my computer because I've got an ad that is going out soon. And I try and get like the things that I have to get done like first because otherwise it really plays on my mind and it stresses me out. And I wanna go to the gym and I feel like if I've got so much on my mind, I honestly have like the worst sessions ever. So we're gonna get that done. I was thinking I might have my walk now, but I think I'm probably just gonna go to the gym, get it done, then have lunch, and then I'll go for a walk. Like I've really been making sure on this six week journey that I've been getting my steps in. And it's something that's been like a non-negotiable for me and really kind of have to prioritize those kinds of things when you're trying to lose fat, because those are the things that people kind of just sweep under the carpet, but they're actually the most important. So every day over like the last, last four to five weeks I've been hitting my steps which has been around eight to ten thousand a day and some days it's been like a lot more obviously some days it's been slightly lower but as long as it's kind of a roughly around that figure then I am happy and yeah I feel like it's helped me a lot it really helps your bloating and digestion like if you're someone that gets really bloated and feels really like stodgy just go for a walk try and get your steps in because it does help a lot Recently, I've been loving these two for my gym drink. So I always like sip on this throughout my workout. So I've got some ice cold water in here. Then we're gonna add a scoop of these BCAs, BCA amino in iced tea peach. And then I also add a scoop of creatine just because it is the most researched supplement on the market. And if you're training and trying to build muscle, honestly recommend it so much and then i always just put in some ice as well because i really like my drinks ice cold the 
thing about these women's best bottles, by the way, is that the the ball is in the lid, so you never lose it and it never gets stuck in your dishwasher because that has happened to me so many times. Okay, so gym fit of the day. I've got on my women's best brown fit. I love this sports bra and these leggings. I've actually got a size medium in the leggings and a small in the bra. Then I've just got this athlete jumper and then shoe wise, I've got shoe wise, I've got some new balance trains on. Over the last few weeks, I've had like good sessions and not so good sessions, but the last week's actually been quite good. And it's because I have actually changed up my plan ever so slightly, just because I kind of felt like my motivation was dipping. I wasn't really looking forward to some of my workouts and we don't want to be like that. So I've changed some of them and I'm feeling a lot more motivated now. So I feel like if you are also in a bit of a dip, maybe have a look at your workouts, see if you can just change them a bit just to make them a bit more like inviting and fun. But yeah, today we're actually training upper body. And do you know what? I actually can't remember for the life of me if it's shoulders or back but my little planner is in the boot of the car and I'm gonna get it out in a minute on my way. But yeah, we're gonna train upper body, we're gonna have a good session, and then after I'm gonna do my 20 minutes of cardio, and that doesn't count towards my steps either, so I'm gonna have to go for a walk later because so far I've done 1,300 steps. <laughs> This is literally the reality of having a desk job. You just don't move. So yeah, we're gonna get some steps in, we're gonna get some cardio in, and we're gonna have a good sesh, guys. <laughs> session but my triceps are literally burning like doing the seated overhead tricep extension into front raises is really hard so definitely try that one um i'll make sure i put the workout below so that you guys can also do it but that's my new shoulders and triceps and chest workout i don't actually do a lot of chest training and that's obviously because i've got implants and when you've got implants you do have to be a bit careful and try and not go so heavy because otherwise you can actually push them apart and i wouldn't want to like risk it because they were obviously quite expensive so <laughs> i'd rather just not train like chest heavy um but it's so important to train it in some way so i do try and train it but yeah just quite nice and light um anyways let's get back so i'm absolutely starving i really need some lunch and i've had such a nightmare whilst i was in the gym with like uploading my posts for today and i think instagram is down because oh do you know what like this is one of the most stressful things with like being a creator is that you spend like hours creating content like filming it editing it and then you'll post it and instagram is like not working and you're just like great that literally took me hours and for no reason Anyways, I'm gonna try not to think about it because it winds me up. But yeah, let's go and get some lunch. All right, guys, we're back from the gym. I'm so hungry, like literally starving. So I'm gonna get on and make it. And I'm actually gonna make two portions because I'm really busy tomorrow. Someone's just messaged me. I'm really busy tomorrow and I'm gonna be on the go. So it's all about prepping. Obviously, I'm gonna be tracking full days. So I'm gonna make sure that I make enough for tomorrow as well. So we're gonna be making chicken and pesto potatoes with like a salad all mixed together. And hopefully it should be good. But these are the ingredients that you're gonna need. So I'm gonna be using 300 grams of diced chicken breast. We've got spinach, parmesan, green pesto, garlic salt, and then this chicken seasoning. I like this one, it's paprika and onion. Cucumber, tomato, and then 400 grams of baby potatoes. Maybe 12 weeks. Huh? Maybe 12 weeks. Yes. Mum's only income. Only income.
there we go there is my chicken pesto potatoes i've made two portions guys how good does this look and it was so easy to make per portion there are 356 calories and 42 grams of protein so it's a great meal to meal prep and go to be honest i would probably just eat this cold just because obviously you've got the cucumber and tomato in there so yeah just take out the fridge and eat it okay here goes i'm literally starving so excited for this potatoes are by the way such a great way to get your carbs in because you get so much for your calories so if you're looking for something to kind of bulk up your meals definitely try potatoes oh really good. quick snack before i get on with some work we're going to be having this Faye yogurt, 0% fat with strawberry. This one is not the same as the one I showed you last time that is actually a strawberry yogurt, but this one actually has like a strawberry kind of corner. So good. I know you guys ask for like a day in the life, but I always feel like I'm boring you because my days aren't that fun. Like I literally check my clients in, create content, post the content and answer emails and I just sit at my desk doing loads of other bits and bobs for all my other companies and yeah it's just not that exciting I wish it would be and I do you know what this summer I was like oh I'll go away like a lot I'll do a lot of traveling but again that just hasn't really happened because I'm just so busy but I have got two really nice holidays plans and I always feel like holidays are such a nice goal to aim towards when you're like on a diet or whatever and of course I've got Marbella for my birthday in two weeks which I'm just so excited about I've literally done so much shopping for it by the way like this is my pile it's a lot like that's a lot of stuff there but yeah i've also got a lot of stuff to take back as well i don't know about you guys but being a gym girl and trying to shop in zara is an absolute nightmare like i bought a pair of shorts right and i tried on the small i ordered them to my house and i tried on the small and they genuinely would not go up one leg like one leg so i sent them back and um i really like the shorts so i was like no i'm gonna order a large i ordered the large and i just couldn't even zip them up on the side it's crazy how bad their sizing is and i think it's really easy to get really down when you go summer clothes shopping or clothes shopping in general because obviously when you don't fit in something you kind of think wow like am i that big but in all honesty please just trust me when i say do not let like a clothing size define you or kind of make you feel not so good about yourself because it's genuinely a size and sizes can just vary like so much this is actually one thing that i really wanted to get right with my clothing brands and i really wanted like all the clothes to be so stretchy because i wanted it to be like comfy and i want like everyone to feel incredible in it and i was just tired of like going to zara and fitting in a large when i'm like a size eight to ten oh god yeah all right guys so work is done it is literally at 10 to 6 i have done a total of 6,800 steps so like i said i'm aiming for 8 to 10k and this is where i would normally just not do anything for the rest of the night but what i'm going to do is i'm going to be very proactive and i'm going to go out for a walk because little things like this honestly just make the world of a difference and i, I think going for like 2000 extra steps a day actually burns an extra 200 calories a day or something around that which obviously over the week is huge like it kind of adds up to like a day of food so you really do have to think about it like that and i always think about the weekly calories rather than the total so if you are currently sat down wondering whether you should go for a walk or go to the gym honestly See, go do it you'll feel so much better after we are back from our walk i've now got 10,837 steps so i'm over my target happy with that i feel like i've had a really good day in terms of like energy expenditure but it is now seven o'clock and i'm literally so hungry so let's get on and let's make some dinner i actually had a couple of pork loin steaks in the freezer that i hadn't used and i feel like i need to start using everything because i buy so much stuff and i don't use it all the time so we're making a pork noodle stir fry which i'm so excited about these are the ingredients that you're gonna need okay so to make this you're gonna need two pork loin steaks i just chopped mine into strips then we've got a red pepper we've got some fresh ginger these protein noodles from morrison's are absolutely unbelievable if you haven't tried them i love them spring onion then we've got some soy sauce sweet chili corn flour and some ginger uh and some garlic
take a quick pic for Instagram. Guys, this looks so bloody good. Wow, look at that. That is my pork stir fry. So excited to eat this. Per portion, there are 533 calories and 43 grams of protein. So again, high protein. It is slightly higher in calories, but it's not too bad. Like to be honest, these are massive portions. You can definitely sort of make them slightly smaller. Okay. Yum. I am so excited for this. Taste test. I love a good noodle. And these protein noodles are so good. Like if you're a veggie, you could just have this with like halloumi. And you'd actually get a really decent amount of protein in. That's pretty good. I am literally so full. But that was so good. But I feel such bad hay fever at the moment. Like honestly, on that walk, my nose and eyes were like streaming. I have actually got like a stronger prescription now, which is great. But I haven't had time to pick it up from the pharmacy, which is so annoying. But I definitely just go get that because I am actually dying. Um, but anyways, I'm going to take my makeup off now and just wind down for the evening. I always use like this LMS. It's just so good. I feel like this has literally changed my life. Like I remember when I used to use makeup wipes and they're just not very good for you. Um, my skin used to like, to be fair, like I've always had pretty good skin, but since using this LMS stuff, it's just been so much better. I really feel like when I use it though, I actually get the makeup off. Whereas like when you use makeup wipes, I feel like it just doesn't really come off. Like this actually melts it off your face. And it's just so nice. It's kind of like a mask as well. I actually, where do I get it from? I think I got it from Look Fantastic, but you can't get it anywhere. And that's not an app, by the way. I literally just buy it because I absolutely love it. Ah, oh, face all clean. I'm gonna take my hair out. I'm just getting a shower. And then, to be honest, it's already eight o'clock. Oh, I swear, like, I just never sit down. Like, I'm literally just gonna shower. Probably make a cup of tea. Have a couple of biscuits. <laughs> I always have biscuits at night, guys. And then, um, yeah, just wind down for bed. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And I hope you gave me a little bit of an insight into my life. Like I said, it's not like the most interesting, but I love my job. I'm not gonna lie. So maybe it is interesting to you guys. And we kind of did a full day of eating as well. Well, pretty much. So yeah, everything's going really well. Literally two, don't know why I'm doing four, two more weeks left of my diet and then I'm done. I'm going to cover in my next video what I'm going to do after and what my plans are because a lot of you are asking. Yeah, I kind of have it in my mind like as to what I want to do, but I'm just not sure yet. So we'll have a chat about it in the next video and yeah, we'll go over everything that I'm going to do and what my plans are for like the next few months slash year. Um, but thanks for watching guys and I'll see you at the same time next week. Bye bye. Thank you.